2021 Volkswagen ID.4 Review, an awesome appliance. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Sometimes we put too much emphasis on the way a vehicle handles or how fast it gets to 60 miles per hour. Sure, that stuff's relevant when testing a six-figure supercar, but who cares how quick or dynamic the 2021 Volkswagen ID.4 is. VW built a great electric crossover that isn't sporty in the slightest, and that's just fine. The ID.4 is feature-rich with a comfortable ride, advanced safety equipment, and loads of style. Plus, it's just as normal and inoffensive to drive as something like a Nissan Rogue. So although it may not be as sporty or speedy as alternatives from Ford and Tesla, the VW ID.4 ticks all the boxes you want for a traditional compact crossover that just so happens to be electric. Unlike the athletic Ford Mustang Mach-E or aerodynamic Tesla Model Y, the Volkswagen ID.4 opts for cleaner, simpler styling, and in my opinion, that actually makes it more appealing to the masses. The front end wears the company's new global design language, which consists of slim, rounded LED headlights connected by an accent bar and other basic detailing lower down on the front bumper. The new Volkswagen logo is also front and center on the hood, the ID.4 being the first to wear said look in the US. The back side of the ID.4 is equally innocuous. A darkened taillight bar extends from one end to the other, with sharp-looking taillights at each corner housing segmented LED inserts. Our first edition tester, which is already sold out, gets other exterior accents like a standard black painted roof with silver rails, white ID.4 badging on the trunk lid, first edition badges on the fenders, and special 20-inch alloy wheels. But even without these limited edition options, the ID.4 is still nice to look at. Inside, the ID.4 is minimalist for the most part, with a clean layout and basic materials like plastic and piano black trim. But the hospital-esque white steering wheel with a matching 5.3-inch digital gauge cluster surround and a white 12.0-inch touchscreen housing on our first edition model is questionable, at best. VW tried to make the inside of the ID.4 feel more modern with these accents but ended up making the cabin look like an early 2000s Apple product, in a bad way. Those white accents clash aggressively with the rest of the cabin, but thankfully, all of them do come in a normal black finish on non-one street edition models. Like most EVs, the ID.4 is heavy. This compact crossover tips the scales at 4,665 pounds, which is more substantial compared to something like a dual-motor Tesla Model Y, 4,416 pounds. But while some EVs throw their weight around aggressively, the ID.4 manages that heft extremely well. The ride is refined even with 20-inch wheels, body roll is well managed, and the ID.4 absorbs broken pavement very well. This vehicle is an absolute joy to drive on long stretches of highway. The ID. Fa's front seats wear a faux black leather, while the steering wheel gets real cowhide trim. Note to animal lovers. This means the ID.4 isn't vegan like the Model Y and Mach-E. The seats themselves are solid, with decent bolstering and enough cushiness to support your butt over long distances. But the open and airy front cabin is what will truly sell you on the drive experience. The 41.1 inches of front headroom and legroom are some of the best figures in the segment. Headroom is class-leading while only the Mach-E, 41.7 inches, and Chevrolet Bolt EUV, 44.3 inches, have more foot space.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.